you don't like the heat and you can't tolerate it, then really don't come to Malaysia because it is very hot and it doesn't really get cool. Not even at night time. No. So if you are into recreational drugs, I don't care if you're from Australia, they're going to throw you in a Malaysian jail. You know, like every other Malaysian, I don't want people coming here that are aggressive and angry, upset, impatient, because that's what makes Malaysia a beautiful country. This video title is a little bit odd considering we just made a video on the reasons why we absolutely love Malaysia. But the reason we're making this video is that it needs to exist on YouTube. And these are the reasons why you shouldn't come to Malaysia. So the first reason you shouldn't come to Malaysia is that if you're not willing to be patient. Oh, you have to be so patient over here. Malaysia is a lot like other Southeast Asian countries. There's a certain pace and a certain speed that Malaysians move at. The reason we bring this up is we see a lot of people that visit Malaysia and they just treat Malaysians disrespectfully by getting aggressive and angry and upset because they're waiting in line at, say, a bank. Over here, people just go with the flow. If you have to wait 20 minutes at the bank, you have to wait 20 minutes at the bank. If you have to wait an hour at a government office, you have to wait. There's no reason to get upset. It doesn't change anything. And we've seen that in a lot of our videos. We've gotten upset and Malaysians are like, why are you getting upset? And it's, it is what it is. If you are not willing to wait for things and you're not patient, then don't come to Malaysia. It's really not the country for you because you will be doing a bit of waiting, various different things. And you just got to kind of go with the flow and roll with the punches. It's just part of living in a country like Malaysia. And this leads us to the next reason why you shouldn't come to Malaysia. If you're a hothead or you get angry really quickly. And that kind of ties into the previous topic we just spoke about. If you're an aggressive person or you get angry really quickly or you come to flame really quickly, then Malaysia is not the right country for you. And the reason for that is in Southeast Asian countries, and Malaysia is no exception to this, people are really big on a thing called face. And so if you embarrass someone publicly uh, in a country like Malaysia by getting angry at them over something maybe they didn't control or they didn't do, that the natural reaction is to fight back. So like in Western countries in Australia, people will drive along and there'll be a lot of road rage. People will be honking their horns at each other. You don't see much of that in Malaysia. No, people don't really even beat their horns at each other. Everything just moves in nicely and they all just interact around each other. People have learned that why get angry about it? It just sort of is what it is. I highly suggest you do not come to Malaysia if you have the wrong attitude and you get angry really easy. Yes, there's a time and place to get angry and there's definitely things that we've seen in Malaysia that get me upset or get yep. frustrated. Yep. Uh, but I just sort of sit there and go, no one else is upset and angry about it. If you're getting angry at something that you have like that, no, the control person, over. no control over, it's kind of embarrassing. I've seen that when we've been out in tours and things like that and there's been Westerners and they're getting angry at the, the ferry driver, for instance, or and for damaging a bag. And it's like, yep. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed as a Westerner yep. when I watch a Westerner get angry over that because it's like, actually, when you get angry at the poor dude, he's just doing his job. He's the one picking up your 20 kilos of luggage. He's like, you could have done it. Yes. It's better to just go with the flow like a lot of Malaysians do, a lot of Southeast Asians do. Just go with the flow. And uh, if you do get angry and you're hot-headed and you're aggressive, don't come to Malaysia. So the next reason not to come to Malaysia is that if you party hard, don't get me wrong, Malaysians know how to party and there's plenty of nightlife in Malaysia. This is a common myth that we've seen is that Malaysia is not a party destination. There's plenty of parties going on. There's plenty of nightlife and you just got to know where to look and who to talk to. But if you're one of these people that just like parties hard, you know, you go to Khao San Road in Thailand or Bogos Street in uh, the Philippines where it's just rows and rows of bars and you're just popping between bars and chasing girls and things like that, then really Malaysia is not for you. There's not that kind of scene in Malaysia and you're almost better off going to like a Thailand or the Philippines. And go and find somewhere else. Like there is plenty of other places, but if you want to have a beer and have a good time, you can still come to Malaysia. You're just not going to get that same experience that you would going to Thailand or yeah. going to, you know, the Philippines. Whatever it is that you want, you're probably not going to find it here. Yeah, like your full moon parties and things like that. That's what top countries like Thailand are for and countries like the Philippines. Malaysia, yes, it's, a, it's more of a family friendly destination. They're a bit more laid back. Want to have a party, but it's a laid back party. It's not full on music and drinking and stuff like that. Yes, it's drinking. Yes, they love to sing and have their karaoke, but it's not a nightclub scene. Yeah, yeah. Qualify. There is a lot of nightclubs and there is a lot of places to go out. But yeah, if you're looking for that party, Khao San Road, where it's just bar, 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 drink, 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 and yeah. party with girls and things like that, then I wouldn't come to Malaysia. Drugs. Now this goes really hand in hand with that 
party scene, unfortunately, a lot of the time. If you're into recreational drugs, do not come to Malaysia. And I'm very serious about that because Malaysia has some of the strictest drug laws in the world. If you come here, it doesn't matter if you're a foreigner, doesn't matter if you're from Malaysia or yeah, yep. doesn't matter at all. If you get caught cool with drugs, they're going to throw the book at you and they're probably going to throw the book at you more because you are a Westerner and they want to make an example. So there's a very strict no tolerance to drugs in Malaysia. So if you are into recreational drugs, they don't care if you're from Australia, they're going to throw you in a Malaysian jail. I don't 100% know if it's still to this day, but up until about 2018, there was still the death penalty in Malaysia for drugs. Don't want to be in the situation where that happens to you, even if you're not doing the drugs, you don't want to be around that scene. If you do drugs, stay away from Malaysia. Okay, so the next thing we have on our list of the reasons not to come to Malaysia is that if you're expecting it to be Singapore. So we hear this a lot from expats like, oh, you know, what's Malaysia like? And it's just different. It's, you know, if you want to sanitize, clean, sterile environment, highly regulated. Like a Western country. Like a Western country. Singapore's a perfect place. But Singapore is not Malaysia and Malaysia is not Singapore. They have different pros and cons. Both countries have pros and cons. You know, a lot of people think Singapore is a perfect country, but it has its faults. Malaysia is not Singapore. You know, there are still go to some areas in Kuala Lumpur uh, and it's exactly the same as Singapore. Like KLCC, for instance, is very beautiful. It's, it's very clean, pristine. And you can go 10 kilometers away and there's still open drains. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. But if you come with the attitude, you walk it out of the airport and you go, oh, wow, this place is dirty and stuff like that. That's the wrong attitude to have because there's a lot of pros to Malaysia and there's a lot of reasons we prefer Malaysia over Singapore. But if you come thinking, oh, it's, Singapore's better than this because it's clean, don't come to Malaysia. Stay in Singapore. Completely different countries. Even though they're on the same isle, uh, peninsula, yep. they're completely different countries. And uh, they've all both got their pros and cons. Some of you may notice my shirt is just getting progressively sweaty. If you don't like the heat, don't come to Malaysia. And, uh, you know, I have a pretty good tolerance to heat. I actually don't mind it, but you know, we've met people and they're like, oh, it's so hot in Malaysia. Why is it cooler? Why is it cooler? It's uh, near, just near the We equator. are right near the equator. Like literally where we're standing, I think we Googled it this morning. We're 170 k's from the equator, right? It's hot. <laughs> it's just hot. You know, you're not going to get a winter in Malaysia the same way you would get in, say, Australia. Just going to get used to the fact that it's hot. And sometimes it's a dry heat. Sometimes it's a really wet heat, but it's hot. If you don't like the heat, or you don't like to be sweaty, don't come to Malaysia because you are gonna sweat, especially if you were a foreigner. You know, like if you've lived here for 20 years and 30 years, you get a bit of tolerance to it. Um, you don't actually see many Malaysians sweating when they walk around, but I've kind of just gotten used to it and no one cares. Huh. You know, uh, we, I walk down the street and my shirt's like this. No one judges me, no they, one cares. They understand. They, like, they re really doesn't bother them. No, no, they think it's quite funny actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, I quite look a little bit Asian too, so. If you don't like the heat and you can't tolerate it, then really don't come to Malaysia because it is very hot and it doesn't really get cool. Not even at night time. No. Like we come from Australia where it cools down because there's a sea breeze at night time. It's still not calm. Like it is still as hot as it would have been during the day. And one of the pros of that is that you don't have to worry about the snow or how to carry jackets. So one of the pros of that is that when you do travel to Malaysia, you don't have to pack jumpers. You get to pack light. Pack you light. Today. Light backpack, here we go. Yeah, but if you don't like the heat, I would suggest not coming to Malaysia. So obviously this video was a little bit more tongue in cheek than the total gave it to but the reason like i said at the start we wanted this video to exist is the fact that there's so many people we meet when we're traveling that have this wrong expectation of what malaysia is and they are trying to turn it into a country it's not you know like every other malaysian i don't want people coming here that are aggressive and angry and upset and impatient because you know that's what malaysia that's what makes malaysia a beautiful country is that there's those things uh so guys do you agree with what we've spoken about we appreciate all of your support, guys. We want to showcase Malaysia to the rest of the world because we think it's one of the best countries on the planet, as we've spoken about. Comments, let us know if there's maybe other things, that other reasons why someone shouldn't come to Malaysia. Be honest and pragmatic. We so, also like seeing our fans. So hello to everyone yes. that comes and sees us. Guys, if you see us out and about, don't be shy. Come and say hello to us. We don't bite. As you can see, this is what we're like all the time. Definitely. So come and see us. Come and say hello. Uh, we don't bite and we'd love to uh, get We love photos. getting photos too. Yep. So guys, I'm Jimmy. And I'm Pauline. And we'll catch you all oh, on the horizon. horizon.